Welcome to All I Mass TV. My name is Jax Animo, and today we have a question. One of my subscribers called me and he said he needs a solution to this quadratic equation by completing the square method. Most times I ask myself, why examiners always demand students to use a particular method of solving mathematics, most especially in quadratic equation? They always prefer a completing the square method. And this is one of the methods today complain most about. Okay, but today I'm going to guide you on how to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square method. So if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video. Okay, so let's dive into this challenge. The question says 2x squared minus 18x plus 16 equal to 0. What will be the possible value of x by completing the squared method? This is 2x squared minus 18x plus 16 equal to 0. Now, in completing the square method, the first thing you do is to move the constant term to the right hand side. So let's take this to the right hand side. This will now become 2x squared minus 18x equal to, this is a plus sign, it crosses the sign of equality, it talks to minus 16. Now, the next thing we do again is to look at the coefficient of x squared. Okay, the coefficient of x squared must be unity, must be one. So in order to make the coefficient of x squared here to be 1, we have to divide through by the coefficient of x squared here. So the coefficient of x squared here is 2. So what we do here, we say divide, divide through, through by 2. So we are going to divide everything in here by 2. So if we do that, this will give us 2 x squared all over 2 minus 18 x all over 2 equal to minus 16 all over 2. Okay, so from here, these two we go with these two. 2 here, 1, 2 into 18 will give us 9, 9, okay? The 2 here, 1, 2 into 16 will give us 8. So from here, let's proceed. From here, let's proceed. So the coefficient of x squared will now give us x squared minus 9x there equal to minus 8. Very simple. Okay, now just follow me. Here we are now having the coefficient of 9x, sorry, coefficient of x to be minus 9. So what we do is to find the half of the coefficient of x and square it, add it to both sides. So let me put it down in writing. I said find, find the half of the coefficient, the coefficient of x okay Let's square it square it and add to both sides okay so if we look at this the half coefficient of x is 1 all over 2 times 9 all over 1 which is equals to 9 all over 2 okay and mind you, it's having a minus sign. So we attach the minus here. There, we square everything. So we are going to add the square of minus 9 all over 2 to the left-hand side and also to the right-hand side. Because according to the law of equation, whatever you do to the right-hand side, you must do to the left-hand side. That is what makes it equal. So let's go there. Okay? So from here, this will now give us here x squared minus 9x plus 
minus 9 all over 2 r square equal to minus 8 plus bracket minus 9 9 all over 2 r square sorry i'm using a mini board okay i'm using a mini board all right all right so from here we look at this at this stage this middle guy will leave the system here we have a square here we have a square so two of them can come together to give us here x minus 9 all over 2 r squared equal to minus 8 minus 9 times minus 9 will give us 81 all over 4 this is all over 1 okay so from here this let's keep this guy here so this equal to we find the lcm of 4 and 1 and that will give us 4 so 4 into 1 into 4 will give us 4 4 times the numerator which is 8 will give us minus 32 okay plus 4 into 4 will give us 1 1 times 8 1 will give us 81 wow very simple so from here we proceed again so let's bring out our term here x minus 9 all over 2 or squared equal to so if we now carry out this subtraction here minus 32 plus 81 digs we automatically give x 9 all over 4 so at this point we take the square root of both side so you take the square root of both side take the square root of both side okay and immediately you take your square root they bring you your plus and a minus sign to this side here so dix we take care of dix so from here let's proceed back okay uh, All right, so from here, let's proceed back. Okay, sorry, like I said, I'm using a mini board here. Minus the square root of 49 is seven and the square root of four is two. We're looking for S, so we send this to this other side. So this will now give us here, plus nine all over seven plus minus seven all over two, right? Uh? Okay, so we cannot split this. So we'll give us here x equal to 9 all over 2 plus 7 all over 2 or 9 minus 7. Then this all over 2, this all over 2. Okay, so we can find the LCM of both. And if we do that, this will give us here 9 plus 7 all over 2 or 9 minus 7 all over 2. Automatically, we now have this to be uh, 9 plus 7 is 16 all over 2, or 2 all over 2. So if we divide down, this will give us, therefore, x equal to, then we have 8 or 1. So this is the solution to this quadratic equation by completing the square method if you gain value from this video kindly give the video a thumbs up uh, say thanks drop a comment in the comment section or if you have a better way a shorter form of solving this drop it also in the comment section thanks for being there online mass tv loves you jakes loves you bye for now